So just less than a week on from, from last Saturday's uh, 7-0 win here at the Hive, what's the confidence been like in the camp this week? Yeah, listen, of course it helps. Um, I think the message from the previous five games is that we haven't taken our chances well enough uh, for all previous five games. So to see the, the goals fly in uh, at such a good rate last Saturday is obviously a massive positive for us. Um, to be fair to the boys, we, we have said previously that that result's probably been coming. Um, unfortunately, for the time they were on the receiving end of it, but to be fair to the lad, they were clinical last Saturday, so no complaints in terms of our um, uh, clinical we were in front of goal. Yeah, I guess after the game, we sort of spoke to the gaffer and said how we, how key it could be to overcome that barrier of getting that second and third goal cushion. Would you see it that way as well? Uh, listen, you can look into those reasons. Was it the early goal that settled the lads? I think so. As I said previous, we we felt it was coming. A result like that was coming within the group. We've been creating chances at the same rate we did last Saturday in previous games, and just didn't put them all away. But to be honest, it felt like every chance we pretty much had Saturday went in. So. Um, yeah, I felt like it was coming. I don't think there's too much in terms of going two or three up. I just felt, for whatever reason, they clicked for the lads in front of the goal. And uh, to be fair to you, when you look at the, the calibre of the seven goals, I don't think there was a bad impact. Obviously, Glover's goal, I think I don't know if he's got it or not, but the OG, Glover's goal to everyone, that's the only one where it's probably not, it's not as clean as the other. But the other six are some unbelievable goals within the within the seven goals. So the clinicality in front of the goal is massive. Yeah, still a few players out with injury. Are we expecting anyone back tomorrow? Uh, no, we are where we are. We, um, the lads are close to coming back, really close. To, we were expecting two or three back in the next week. Um, whether some is too soon tomorrow for them, probably. Um, but there's some back training out on the grass with Liam, our um, S&C coach. So he's putting them through their pace and making sure they're ready once they are back. Speaking on Gateshead then, they're the current league leaders. So how would you sort of assess them? This is a brilliant team. They have been. Um, obviously, Mike Williamson done an unbelievable job bringing him into this league and, and sustaining it, and obviously and building on that from season to season. Um, and then when he left at MK, I think a lot of people maybe thought they might slip away a little bit, but to be fair to Rob Elliott, they've gone again. Um, done brilliant. They play a brilliant brand of football, very similar to ourselves. Um, always high up in possession, chances created again very similar to ourselves. So it's going to be a real, a real clash of obviously similar styles tomorrow. So we're expecting a really open game. I don't think both, I don't think either team will come away from what, what they do. So I think it'll be an interesting one for the neutral, really exciting, and obviously please go on the uh, right end of the result. Yeah, you sort of just answered the next question. Then we said obviously it's going to probably be one of the toughest away games you could probably play all season. On paper, for the neutral, it's looking like it could be you know a really good game of football. Yeah, definitely. I think. I mean, it's common knowledge, especially amongst our fans, um, our struggles against Gator in the last couple of seasons. Um, but then saying that, I think last year we went there and was one of our best performances. I think we should have been four, five, six up at half time. And obviously, when you don't take them chances, teams like Gator will punish you. And obviously, that's what happened. So we'll try and avoid that tomorrow. Please, God, we can bring the same the same um, efficiency in front of goal as we did last Saturday. And if we create our chances, we can take them like we did last week. So it's going to be a great game. It's, it's definitely definitely one to watch, I suppose, for the, in terms of the whole division. Um, Two good sides, two good footballing teams, two really attacking teams. So I suppose the old, the old thing is you expect goals, but it'll probably be nil-nil. But I'd be shocked if it is. It should be an excellent game for, for both sets of fans and obviously the neutral as well. I guess, and finally then, how important is it for, you know, mainly for both teams to just go out there and enjoy it? Listen, that's, you always play your best football if you're enjoying it. I think both teams set up to try and enjoy playing football. I think when you ask players that have come into probably both systems and playing both systems, they'd probably say it's probably the most enjoyable phase of football they've had in their career. So we definitely have a lot of that in the camp where lads love playing for us because obviously the style and obviously how we are and how we work around the place and the environment we create. So I think they're very similar. Um, I've heard a lot of their fans and, and people close to their clubs speak very similar to how we talk here. So it does seem both clubs are in a very similar place in terms of the connection with fans, the feeling within the group and the obviously the calibre of player they got. So both teams obviously going well, flying high. To obviously it's first v third, so it's a massive game. And even though it is early, it's, it's two teams that we expect to be up there at the end and I think it'll be an excellent game. Thanks for your time, Connor. Cheers, man.